Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Do anybody else be having a very white? Uh, so triple it's in the morning it is like time check it is 6 49 a.m <sighs> and no i am not up come on i am up but i mean i'm not up like leaving my sneaky link on mondays I go to my uh, girlfriend's house, pick her daughter up, and take her to school. And the reason I get up early like this now is because I don't live where I used to live. And she likes to see Ryan too. So, I'm going past my mom's house to pick him up, walk him, all that good stuff. Probably put a sweater on him. It's a little cool out, and his TT has on a sweater, so why not? So, put a sweater on him, get him loaded up in the car, so we can start our day. Go see Nyla, drop her off at school. And then I'm coming back to the house because this thing under my arm still hurts. And I haven't done any warm compressions. I didn't do any warm compressions all day yesterday because I was moving around a lot yesterday. And I paid for that shit last night because I could not sleep for real. Like, I was only comfortable if my arm was, like, up in the air. Like, it was in a full cast. Other than that, trying to lay with by my side, that shit hurt like hell felt like somebody was squeezing my fat so yeah I don't know if y'all ever had a uh, boil under your arm one out of ten do not recommend and it has nothing to do with being dirty or nothing like that I don't want y'all to think it's your girl is dirty because I'm not but my sweat glands do not produce sweat like they should so they get backed up like once a year it's crazy like ever since i started getting them i don't think i went without them it was like literally once a year like how some people may get a cold sore every year i get this shit backed up once a year and it is excruciating pain i can either go and get get drained from a hospital I can do it myself with warm compressions. And they say put a slice of onion under there too. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna be funky. So that's why I said I'm gonna stay home. Um, I was gonna keep Ryan with me all day and like do some fun stuff, but that ain't fun. And he is, he is gonna, he don't like the smell of onions and he can't be around onions, he can't eat onions. So he's probably gonna be like, TT, you could have left me to go home for this. Shit, if I was gonna be bored, I'd rather be bored at my house than bored at yours. Shit, bored at Nana's house. I got plenty of toys and stuff. My lady's there. Cause he has this, this, <laughs> this stuffed dog that he likes to hump on. We call her his lady. But his lady's at his grandma's house. Like, he got way more stuff at his grandma's house. And I refuse to turn mine into a doggy daycare. So, he got two toys there. <laughs> and some food and that's it he only had no real water bowl his stuff is an old uh chinese carryout bowl we just cleaned it out <laughs> i'm like that i'm like that uh auntie that doesn't have any kids so don't expect to come here in my house be baby proof just watch your baby <laughs> but anyway so yeah, that's, let me get out of this lane because I'm not going where y'all going. 
and y'all going slow at that. These early morning drivers be on a whole new wave. Some of them be cruising, and some of them be flying like a bat out of hell. That's me flying like a bat out of hell because I'm going to go ahead and uh, get him and get head back the opposite direction. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Relaxing and trying to get this thing going, or at least popped. If it's popped, then I can work with it because it won't be hurting as bad. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. But I'm sorry I didn't uh, vlog yesterday. We well, yeah, I did. I didn't vlog the entire day. I vlogged in the morning when I told you guys uh, where we were going to um, help my brother with his move and stuff. Which is just to move into another bedroom at the same place, but whatever. <laughs> a move is a move. But, um, yeah, we did that yesterday. Got something to eat. And then, um, came back to the apartment. Took a nap. Because once you hit 30, naps are very important. So, uh, kids that don't like taking naps, I was one of them. You will live to regret it. Because when you get older, that's all you're looking forward to. Oh, I can't wait to get home in my bed. Okay, the light isn't going to get much greener. So, that's what I plan on doing today. And I will pick y'all up a little later. I'm going to listen to some music so I don't, uh, so I don't be sleepy. I will see y'all later. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Oh, I'm sitting on the seatbelt. I just threw this thing in the car. And when I say thing, I mean me. Whew. Goodness. It's heavy, too. Do y'all see Bookie Boo in the back? Hey, Bookie Boo. Say good morning to the people. Okay, so y'all. Ryan knows our car horns and things like that so he heard me when I got here okay so I'm gonna roll down you in there just a second okay let TT get out of this parking spot um the car in front of you and the car behind you long Turn that to kiss. Okay. There he goes. All right. So he knows our the sound of our cars. If we have a pipe or something hanging and it's going ga 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 ga, -ga he know the ga 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 is one of us. Um, if the music is extra loud, he knows it's us. If we're gonna lock our doors, he knows like how each of our car sounds. My brother's girlfriend, my girlfriend, me, my mom, my sister. He knows how all of our cars sound. So he knew I was here. So when I got to the door and I opened it, he was sitting there waiting. The only one up in the house. I don't know if my horn woke him up or what might have because he still was yawning when I opened the door and he laid down for me to rub his stomach but I was like we gotta go so I tried to put a sweater on him and he wasn't having it so he just got on a muscle tee I don't know if he wanted to show off today or what and it's orange so he let me put that on him but he was being a brat weren't you yeah he was like, I'm not putting this shit on just because you got one on don't mean I want one on. You do got a body full of full of hair, so it makes sense. 
Okay, now you want to speed up when I turn out. So, it is 7.14. We are making good time. I have to feed to baby girl by 7.45. So, she can be at school by 7.50, 7.55. I did not walk him yet. I decided to just strap him in the car. He's not gonna use the bathroom in here because he knows better. But um, when we get the baby girl, he's gonna use the bathroom there. So that's the plan. The traffic on the house there too. So. If not, then we'll just use it after we drop her off. Either way. He's gonna use the bathroom before he comes back home. I'm still debating if I wanna keep him or not, but I think I'm gonna just bring him back. So yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, Boogie Boo. people I know you can go back to the wonder now I ain't want nothing I ain't want nothing boy you can go back to the wonder <laughs> well, you just gonna chill right there he don't like being told what to do so if you tell him to do something pretty sure he's gonna do the opposite like he understands commands, he just don't follow them. He has selective hearing. See, now he in the woman. He has selective hearing if one of us be calling him. He's in the living room, everybody else is at the back of the apartment, and we're calling him. He will not come. So one of us will get up and go find him, like, where is he? He's ducked in between one of the couches, just laying there, like, looking. It's like, oh, he was ignoring, okay. Like, he giving them, I don't want to be bothered moves, which is crazy. Because other times, if you have a Yorkie or a small puppy in general, you know they require a lot of attention. Like, they will get moody if they aren't doing you know, if they're not occupying their time the way they want to, they will get moody and they'll start barking at you and whining and all that stuff when they're bored. So, it's funny to me that, well, first of all, it's funny that they have that personality trait. That's hilarious. But um, it's funny to me that he'll ignore us, but in the same breath, 10 minutes later, mm -hmm. I was like, why are you fussing at me? You didn't even want to be bothered 10 minutes ago. And you know with petty humans, we like, no, I'll keep that same energy. But he don't want to keep that same energy. He like, no, I want to play when I want to play. And when I don't, I don't. And I won't. So, let's just say he was, he was given to the right family because he's met his freaking matches. Like, no, you ignored us for 10 minutes. We're gonna ignore you for 10 minutes. See you later, player. So, ain't that right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. He is loving that cool air. I'm just glad my ears aren't popping because that window would have went up. <sighs> so, I have about a 10 15 minute drive to girlfriend's house and I'm not going to vlog the entire drive because that would be boring. <laughs> I just call myself boring but it's early so everything is still waking up. Like my voice is coming back as you can see I'm no longer very white. I'm giving a little raps right now. So who is that? I got a raspy voice. 
It's giving a little Macy Gray. That's what it's giving. So eventually I will get back to Tiara around 9 or 10 o'clock. But anything before 7 is very, it's very white. And if you don't like very white, that's very bad for you. <laughs> Everybody that I've dated knew that was me in the morning. Don't call me. Be See y'all later. Hey y'all. So I might look a little different now. A little worn out. So when I got home from dropping off Ryan, I went in the house to change my clothes. And um Assess the situation under my arm. <clears throat> when I did that, I took the bandage off and it looked fine. Two seconds later, it just started pouring out and I'm um, TMI. Hey, right now but who dr pimple popper just imagine except worse so i was on the phone with my best friend who's a nurse the travel nurse that i'd be talking about and she said oh, go get it checked out if there's any discoloration if it has a smell and i was letting her know because I was on the phone with her how it looked all of that and then uh, we was on FaceTime and I showed it to her she was like oh no get it checked out y'all when I say this thing looked like a monster under my arm like I was scared of it myself because I thought when I put my arm down that shit was going to bite me like it... <sighs> so Went to the emergency room and I wasn't in there long. They fast tracked me, thank God. So they said everything that my uh, best friend said that it was abscess, it's caused by sweat glands being clogged and hair follicles and a whole bunch of jibber jabber medical terms. Um, they told me to get in contact with a surgeon to see what they suggest so that they don't keep coming back because y'all this is like my fifth one fifth or sixth one since like 2017 so that lets you know it's every year reoccurring and it swaps arms left right left right left right the last one was under the same arm as this one like you can still see the scar from where they cut into it so, I'm going to call the surgeon after I get off the phone with y'all to see when they can schedule me. Because at this point, I know Big Mama said, anybody cut my leg off. At this point, take the arm. Throw the whole thing away. Once again, one out of ten, do not recommend. <sighs> And it can be triggered by soap I use, deodorant I use, like literally everything. And I think it's to the point now of like, I gotta wash my ass. But am I not supposed to wear deodorant? <sighs> so 
Oh. Went to went to uh grab me something to eat from Chick-fil-A that wasn't far from the hospital. And now I'm waiting on my prescription. So, so um my day is going to be consisted of eating so that I'm not nauseous, showering when I get home. wrapping this thing and laying the fuck down not doing anything else the only thing else I'm gonna do is answer the door when my brother comes to drop Ryan off and when my best friend comes other than that I'm not doing that's it like I said, totally different person from this morning. Because I'm exhausted. Like, shit hurt. And last time, before they cut me, they numbed me. It's time to say, oh, we don't have to do any cutting. Because it's already opening up. And then just thought, I mean, the lady, the doctor, was small. And when she got the squeezing under my underarm, it felt like it was a rope tied around the abscess and somebody was just pulling it. That's how I felt. I said, ooh, I'm about to cry like a baby. Mm. She was like, it's okay, it's okay. I understand, I'm so sorry you're going through this. You're not sorry. Because you're not taking it easy. You just... I mean... I thought I did something to her in a previous life. That's, ooh. And I know she got to do it. But that ain't make it hurt any less. And now I'm here at Walmart trying to get my medicine. It's going to be 30 more minutes. Everybody's slowing down my plans for the day, which was shower and sleep. And then your doctor has to authorize the third one because they given me three medicines. Dioxiclean, naproxen, and some oxys. But they won't release the oxy to me. <laughs> Gotta be pre-authorized with the doctor and insurance company. I say, well, can I just pay for a flat out? Not to sound like a druggie or anything, but my arm hurt. And she was like, they got to reject the, the insurance company got to reject it first, and then you could pay for it outright. But don't know how long that's going to be, so just go home and take some Tylenol. And just go from there. I'm not hard up. Don't want to take certain medicines anyway. I don't like take make, don't like taking medicine. Don't like taking a lot of medicines. So I'm already on one from my accident. And then now I'm about to be on antibiotics, pain medicine, something else. But that's neither here nor there. Little disclaimer, take your own medicine, don't take anybody else's. Um, don't give anybody else your medicine. Yeah, just be legal guys, don't do anything illegal. Okay, flat, straight like that, don't do anything illegal. Also, but yeah. Just waiting on my medicine. I'm going to finish eating my food. And hope I don't fall asleep in this parking lot. And my mama's calling me. See y'all. So, 
I'm going to see a surgeon to see if they can figure something out with this. I'm not afraid to be under the knife. I just want this stuff gone. So, y'all, <laughs> pray for me. <laughs> and I will talk to y'all when I get there because it's about a 30 minute ride. So, all right. Hey y'all, so I am here. I made it to my doctor's appointment. I had to get undressed for the most part just to talk. So you're not that lucky. Just waiting on the doctor to come in. Um, take a look at this bad boy. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. <sighs> but, um, yeah, hanging off the chair for usual. The guy saved lives till you gotta sit in an average size chair. Then it's like, could just save a little less. <laughs> you get humbled when you gotta sit in a chair or when you step on that scale. Y'all, I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together. But, yeah. You see what it is. One more time. You see what it is. You got a gangster man in the chair. So, I just left out. She definitely recommended surgery, um, which I said I was going to do that anyway. She was very nice. Got me in and out. Um, just say I was going to be sore for like two weeks and all that good stuff. So, I guess I'll take advantage of being taken care of. But... We all know with Sagittarius, you may or may not get that out of them. But, um. Oh, let me get my ass in this car. Hell. You know how fat people make that noise when they sit down. Oh. <sighs> all right. So. I'm let a net in. Go ahead. That's what you get for following me. Now you did. Whew. Um. Yeah, she was super nice. Um. Now I understand why the professor told Jamie on Players Club, "Never trust anybody information but your own." So look right. When I went in there. They had a little hospital concierge. Ooh, let me catch my breath. Um, little hospital concierge. She said, where are you heading? And y'all know me and my memory is not that great. So I was like, um, I head into such and such office and I just kept saying a doctor name because I remember her last name. And I was like, Dr. Burgess. Um, supposed to see Dr. Burgess. <laughs> for surgical and she was like oh, okay um right upstairs that'll be a uh, sweet 204 so i looked i checked my phone and it said sweet 305 so what i remember that i uh, uh screenshotted what the information that the doctor the nurse told me so me being me i listened to the blonde hair girl and I went to 204. Black lady at the front desk said we don't have you scheduled for an for an appointment. And she said, um, who you hit or see? And I said the name again. And she said, Is it regular surgical, EVMS? And I was like, EVMS. And she was like, Oh, that's sweet 305. I said, Thank you so much. Walked back down the long ass hallway, got back on the elevator. Thank God it was just up a floor. Thank God the elevator was working. Because if I had to take the stairs, probably would have missed this appointment. So, <laughs> never trust anybody information but your own. So, yeah. Got in there. Super sweet staff. Um, didn't take long at all. It was just me and one other girl in there waiting. And she was just recommending that I uh, basically go natural for a while. When I say natural, she say no shaving and no deodorant. <laughs> so, to know me is to love me. 
Curtis was supposed to love me. I need y'all to love me through thick and thin, as in thick hairs and thin hairs. Through thick odor and thin odor. I'm gonna need for you to love me because doctor's orders. I can't shave and I can't deodorize. I can still wash my ass, but as far as putting on deodorant, can't happen. As far as shaving under these arms, can't happen. So good thing it's getting cool out so you ain't gotta see the bush that'll be developing. Well, yeah, I can't do it. Just can't do it. My underarms do not allow me to be great. So y'all know how y'all say stop spraying perfumes over funk. That's just going to have to be what it is, okay? Argue with your mama because I, I can't. I just can't do it. I've been harming myself all these years. And I think the hydronitis, I think that's what basically surgery in this one part we're gonna see if that fix it and if it doesn't then it's gonna refer me to a dermatologist where i'll have to get a shot every week ain't nobody trying to do that i'm not trying to shoot up every week so yeah hope this works so now I'm about to meet up with my friend. Well, first I got to see what she's going to text me. Hopefully she ain't cancel. But if she didn't cancel, I'm going to meet up with my friend and her daughter at this pumpkin patch. I'm going to go pick up my rye rye. And we're going to have us a good afternoon while it feels good. It doesn't look that great outside, but it feels wonderful. So I will see y'all in a minute. So we've made it here. That's what we're looking at. And... Somebody's behaving right now, but of course they want to get out. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so we're going to walk over here and watch Nala enjoy these while I enjoy these goodies that I just purchased for myself that I ain't supposed to be eating. I will get with y'all in a second. Who these rocks? Where are you going? Nowhere. If you don't want to be in the frame, I advise you to move when the camera moves. He's just taking it all in. Oh man, we missed it. You gotta have to do it again. Okay. As long as he's strapped in, they said, as long as he's strapped in. Right, right. What's the matter? I can't even look down, right, right? Oh, she getting ready to go up. Dragon Castle look a little beat down.
Okay, right, right, watch. Said, let me hold on to the phone. He said, I'm going to stay calm because TT said she's going to put me back. <laughs> Stuff back in the bag. I don't weed. <laughs> right? It's the gang smoking. Ryan. <laughs> he said that man was too tall. Where the dog is? <laughs> Where the dog is? Where the dog is? Oh, we out. We out. All right. Let me off in the car. Feel the way he digging in my arms right now. <laughs> okay, he just took us through the uh, cut. Okay. All right. You about to bust a Yui? guys that's the end of that hey Rod I will talk to y'all when I get in the car say bye 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 
Hey guys, so we just left the pumpkin patch last uh, hayride. We were trying to come back tonight, but they don't do a haunted hayride. Um, this boy enjoyed himself. So we're at Taco Bell now. I'm gonna get him some water and head to the house so we both can eat dinner. See y'all later. Mm. Hey y'all, so I am home. I have showered, I changed to my night clothes. Yeah, somebody else is over here. Can you say done? I mean, done, done. Um, we both just ate dinner. And now I'm just um watching a movie. <sighs> Before I KO. So... It was fun kicking it with y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all later.